Hello everybody, Jim here. And uh, as you can see, I'm uh, in Akiba today on kind of an overcast, gloomy day. Uh, but I'm here today for a bunch of stuff. Gonna go, you know, some game shops, some arcades, do some fun things. Maybe go to uh, Tokyo Video Gamers a little later. That should be fun. Uh, but for right now, we're here to check this out. Uh, limited time only. This is a Sega themed pop-up shop uh, here at the Akihabara Container, June 15th to July 3rd. And uh, being the quite the Sega fan myself, kind of interested to see what they've got in there. Uh, so let's go uh, check it out. Sega shop should be fun. Let's do it. Get scratching. Sega pop-up shop here in Akiba. As we see a nice little 16-bit Sonic there. Uh, and then this here, which I'm assuming if you have another person with you, you can take a photo here. Makes it look like you're in the Sonic logo. That's pretty cool. Um, this shop, while the stuff in here is pretty cool, we can have a look. Uh, here's a little flyer. All the various things they have on sale. Uh, some cool merch, but... Um, I will say, uh, not quite as robust as previous pop-up shops, like the Neo Geo shops, for example. Uh, this one was a little more low-key. Uh, but we start off with uh, a nice gold goldfish pin, which is, um, okay. <laughs> well, that's uh, fun. Um, yeah, Kimi no something or other, Shineru. Uh, I'm not 100% certain what that is, but you can get a nice little 8-bit uh, goldfish tote bag, I guess. Uh, so that's that's fun. And this um, classic big acrylic stand. So it's uh, Sonic the Hedgehog classic logo, which we'll take a look at later. They have them on display. Uh, and they had these Gachapon with Poyo Poyo and uh, Sonic acrylic figures, and they're pretty cool, but they're 500 yen each, which, um, I mean, you can look at these, they're pretty cool. Um, I like them, I like Poyo Poyo, and I like Sonic, obviously, but 500 yen, and it's Gachapon, so, I don't know, you run the risk if you put like, I don't know, 2,000 yen into this thing, you could get a duplicate potentially. You think if they were going to charge 500 yen for these, even though they're they're pretty cool. Look at Knuckles, Sonic. They're in different poses. I like that. Um, but yeah, you think if they would charge 500 yen, you know, you could just buy them. <laughs> they would just have them somewhere where you could buy. You don't have to leave anything to chance. Uh, here's some of the apparel they had on sale. Uh, so these are uh, pretty cool. This is all made um, by Tokyo Video Gamers, and at least it has their logo on it. But you've got uh, Upa Upa here, or is it Opa Opa, from Fantasy Zone. And you also have uh, the guy from Space Harrier, whose name I don't know. Um, but here we have, uh, again, that with the uh, the goldfish there, Kimi no Tame Nara Shineru. Uh, so there you go, if you're a fan of that. This actually ended up picking up a Comics Zone t-shirt, which I thought was, like, so cool. Because when do you ever see anything related to Comic Zone? Like, never. So I was like, okay, yeah, I need to pick that up. And this 
Also pretty cool, a jacket with the Jet Set Radio Future uh, logo um, on the front and design on back. So that's pretty cool. But these are not cheap, by the way. <laughs> these jackets are like, they're like 80 bucks. Um, and I think the shirts are, the shirts are pretty expensive as well. Um, but they are pretty cool. So you can see here, it doesn't just have uh, the character on the front there, even though that's pretty, pretty cool already. Um, but it's not just like a solid black shirt. If you turn it around, it also has the Space Harrier prologue on the back which is kind of cool. Um, I guess you gotta put something back there. You can't charge that much for just a plain black shirt, can you? Uh, and then the one with Opa Opa on the breast. You can have Opa Opa on your breast if you want to. And then the Fantasy Zone prologue on the back as well. So pretty cool. Not just plain black shirts, but um, yeah, they're not cheap <laughs> as we, um, we continue to have a look around here. Uh, these are the Jet Set Radio Future jackets, I do believe. And if I'm not mistaken, yeah, they were like 80 bucks or something. Yeah, not cheap at all. Uh, an AM2 sticker that they have for sale. You could just buy AM2 stickers, so that's fine. Uh, these are all of the acrylic figures you can get from the Gatchapon, just out on display. And a lovely Altered Beast mirror. So if in the morning you wake up, you want to brush your teeth, have a shave, and see the Altered Beast logo, there you are. And then that's the uh, classic Sonic acrylic logo thing. Jet Set Radio, the original, or Jet Grind Radio, depending on your location. That's actually a coaster. And then another mirror, but with the design for the original Sonic the Hedgehog um, uh, box art. The Japanese version which I think is really cool. And then the Sonic Knuckles and Tails acrylic figures as well. And then just for some, again, some of the stuff seems kind of random. Did they just throw everything they had in here? Um, Mega Drive cocktail glass. So there you go. You get yourself a nice little, you can drink all your cocktails from your Mega Drive glass and be happy with that. Or get a Sonic tote bag which I could use because I'm toting things usually, right? I'm a toter, I like to tote. Uh, so here you go, you got the AM2 stickers, you can pick those up if you wanna just slap those on things. They're 550 yen, so the exchange rate, that's like, I don't know what, four bucks or something for a sticker. And then you got your Jet Set Radio coasters here. Uh, now loading, Sega. Presented by Sega. Uh, so that's pretty cool as well. And then we got our cocktail glasses here for 1980. So it's like, uh, I don't know, 17 bucks for a cocktail glass. And then those uh, little mirrors, they're like, however much that was, 6,000 yen. But that's about it, like I said, kind of sparse. Not as, they didn't go whole hog like they usually do with the Neo Geo stuff. But anyway, uh, yeah, let's get out of here. Let's get some final words. Sonic. Okay, so that's it. The uh, current little Sega pop-up shop we got going on right now uh, at the Akihabara container open until uh, July 3rd. Uh, so it'll be open for a little while. Um, assuming they'll restock or whatever. Maybe even add some more items later, I'm not sure. Um, it's pretty cool. It's kind of sparse though compared to some of the other pop-up shops I've been to here. Um, but what they do have is pretty cool. I actually ended up picking up that Comic Zone t-shirt for myself because, I mean, when do you ever see Comic Zone stuff? Um, yeah, pretty cool. So if you're going to be in town <laughs> before July 3rd, which is probably not very likely, uh, check it out. Um, but anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, drop a comment down below. Let me know what your thoughts. Let me know what you'd like to see next because uh, that stuff is always helpful. And uh, I got some other stuff to do today, so I'm going to get out of here. But uh, stick around for more videos. Or not. It's up to you. I don't know. Whatever. Uh, so thanks for watching, everyone. Take care, and I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye.